Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, signed an agreement to construct the social services complex in Isa Town in partnership with Kuwait and Bahraini contractors in the presence of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Southern Governor stated that the project is one of the vital development projects that serve the residents of the Governorate. He held the cooperation with the Ministry of Works and the Ministry of Labor to achieve further progress and prosperity as a result of the directives of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Minister of Works stated that in line, uh, the cost of building the project is around 7,348,000 Bahraini dinars, which will be implemented as part of a Gulf development program by the Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development and will take 26 months to complete. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, affirmed that the project will be implemented to fulfill the needs of all segments of society and implementation of the directors of the government. He noted that the project aims to establish a comprehensive social care complex for people with disabilities and senior citizens. The Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, highlighted that the number of beneficiaries from the Mazaya program in the first quarter of the year reached 5,000, and the cost amount of the real estate, financial, and contracting sectors reached 38 million Bahraini dinars. He added that the number of qualification certificates issued by the Ministry since the beginning of this year reached 332, while the number of requests that were allocated to beneficiaries after completing all the procedures reached more than 270 requests. He pointed out to the shortening of the procedural cycle of the Mazaya program contributed to speeding up the completion of transactions for citizens applying to benefit from this program in order to accelerate the access of citizens to housing units. The Supreme Council for Women held a meeting with the Legislative Authority to follow up on the priorities of the laws that require amendments and revision within the context of cooperation between the two sides to integrate women's needs and development as well as follow up on the implementation of laws and detect legislative gaps directly related to Bahraini women. The meeting was chaired by the SCW Secretary General Hal Al Ansari in the presence of Shura and Representatives Council's members, representatives from the Ministry of Finance, the National Economy, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the Economic Development Board, the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Bahrain Banking Association, Civil Service Bureau, and a number of private sector institutions. Al Ansari noted the Council's keenness in holding this meeting within the framework of implementing the directives of Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, by forming a coordinating committee between the Council and the Legislative Authority. Al Ansari reiterated the SCW's keenness on the success of these policies to achieve balance between work and family life, develop the educational sector and activate flexible administrative, administrative systems which take into account women's family commitments. Representatives of the legislative authorities of government, the private sector and other concerned parties stress the importance of consolidating women's rights, underlining the role of parliamentary tools in supporting national efforts aimed at supporting Bahraini women. The Ministry of Health announced that five individuals have recovered from the coronavirus COVID-19 in the Kingdom of Bahrain, bringing the total number of confirmed recoveries to 35. The recovered individuals, two male and two female Bahrainis and one female Saudi, have been discharged from the isolation center after responding positively to medical care provided by a specialized medical team, conforming with measures outlined by the WHO. 
The ministry highlighted that all individuals have undergone extensive medical testing to ensure their full recovery from the virus before being discharged and will continue to be monitored post-discharge. The ministry urged all individuals returning from Italy, South Korea, Egypt or Lebanon in the past two weeks to self-isolate for 14 days, avoid contact with others and schedule their mandatory medical examinations by contacting hotline number 444 or visiting the ministry's website.